Okay, so for this problem, we have to find the limit as h approaches zero of two sine a, sine two h sine three h uh, over h squared. Okay. So we see some signs and some h's on the bottom. Um, so what we really want to keep in mind is that the limit as theta approaches zero of sine theta over theta equals one, all right? So keep this in mind. Um, this is kind of what we want to get to or use in some way. All right, so let's split this up and see what we have here. So limit as h approaches zero of sine two h over an h, okay? Then I'm gonna multiply it times sine three h over h. So here I'm just kind of breaking things up. Uh, now I'll, I'll use the product law uh, of the basic limit laws, right, to break these two functions up with using the limit. Um, so this will be sine 2h over h, and this 2 belongs to the sine, right? And then this will all be multiplied times a separate limit of h approaches 0 of sine 3h over h. Okay, so here we can kind of deal with these separately. And we've seen this kind of problem before, right? So now we have two um, examples of that same problem. So what we're going to try to do is get the um, the same thing, the same representation on the in the denominator as we see attached to the sign. So what we want is limit as h approaches zero. So we have our sign of two h on top, and then we want we already have that h, but we want to add a two here. So if we add a two to the bottom, that means we have to add a two to the top to look like we multiplied times one, right? So this part here. Um, this part goes to 1, but we have this 2, this extra 2 that we added, so that'll go out in front, okay? Um, so that's for the, the first term here that we're multiplying. And then for the second part, we have a limit as h approaches 0 of sine, this time, of 3h. So And we have that h already on the bottom, but now we want a 3 down here, so we have to multiply times a 3 in front, okay? So again, this part equals 1, and this 3 will come outside, okay? So let's do that. So we have a 2 times the limit as h approaches 0 of sine 2h over that same 2h. So that's good. Good sign there. And then we have a 3 times the limit as h approaches 0 of sine of 3h and then over that same 3h here. Okay, so these ones, um, so the things... So the limits, the limit parts, they both go to um, 1, right, according to our key concept up here that we should remember. So this is going to equal 2 times 1, and then we have that multiplied times another 3 uh, times a 1. Okay, so this is just going to be 2 times 3, so overall the limit will equal 6. All right, so that's it for our uh, practice problems video for today. Uh, I hope that helped, and good luck studying.